Well, hello everybody. How's it going this morning? Well, hello everybody. How's it going this morning? I hope well. Time to get scared. I hope well. Time to get scared. All right. My drink blends in. We're in, we're in the lab. Nest two. Hello, zombie. Kind of creepy creeps we got here. Yeah, bro. Get up. Stay down. Let's poke a zombie. Poke the zombie. Yeah, you stay down. Sometimes you just gotta poke a zombie. Like this guy. Like this guy. Uh, with several bullets. When the zombie falls, stab him in the butt several times. Oh boy. Oh boy. And if that fails, just shoot him with a shotgun. I think he's dead. All right. And it's just that easy. Isaac's Graves Diary. <sighs> the pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working nowhere... And nowhere in America it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So, I went for it. I made the pitch to my family, and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty, because this lab is a den of monsters, who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I wor work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I, I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told, for their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience that I've learned my lesson. That certainly humanizes some of the scientists, some of the people working for Umbrella, that the consequence for refusing is they will just kill you and your family. And hadn't thought about it that much that way like in the first in the second game the scientists were pretty heartless it sort of like but yeah they still had some humanity about them but yeah it's nice to see those notes like that lying around where they're humanizing them and just showing that they have no choice yo welcome everybody emerald rose original name Bat, how y'all doing today? Like my uh, invisible soda? <laughs> it's got it's a green can. Hey, Sly guy, welcome. I bet you're alive. Oh no, he doesn't look like a zombie. He's just a dead guy. He's not all necrotic and whatnot. Ooh. Mm. 
Oh, you look like a zombie. Bah. 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 Nope, okay. Fe oh, good. Feeling artistic today. That's a good feeling. What do we got here? Essay on Vaccine Synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants. I don't know what adjuvants are. And vaccine synthesis. Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To, to most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The, ad, the antigen, antigen produces an immune response while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a, po a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a large batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates, rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it effective an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Wonderful. Whoa. Oh. Mm. Hey there, Queen. Mmm, soup sounds good. Flash drive. I'm gonna try to talk in a. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep my voice kind of lower today. Uh, I've got some lines to record for a lower tone uh, performance later, and if I keep talking high, it's gonna be harder to do. My voice, my voice is uh, gonna want to sit higher if I talk high. So I gotta remind myself to try to keep it around this area. Okay. I don't have them. Well, let's take some of this stuff to the drop box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Soup. I want some soup. Any more gunpowder? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ammo. I'll just store this stuff then. And I think we're good. Haha. <laughs> DDPX, welcome. <laughs> With a spoon. <laughs> How does one eat soup? <laughs> well, some soup has, like, meaty bits in it. Like, noodle soup. You don't drink the noodles. I mean, I guess if you, you oh, chicken soup has chicken in it. You don't drink the chicken, you eat it. You got to munch on some of that. I'm to stab you, stab you until you're dead. Yep, he's still alive. Uh-uh. Ah. You know what? I'm going to trade my handgun for the other one. 
This one's nice. It has like a triple burst feature, but it it's less accurate. Here's my good gun. That one. Can I take the... I want to take the ammo out of this one. If it'll let me. Unequipped. Examine. Let me let me pull the clip out. No. Oh, maybe I have to use it up. Oh well. I'll do that then. That would be nice if you could trade ammo, but I don't I don't think you can. Well, let me run a test real quick. I'm gonna shoot this once and then see if I can combine. Nope. Not gonna work. I'll just use up this clip. Hello. Oh, this guy. Bye bye. Can you be dead? Ah! Where did you come from? You weren't there before. There's another one. Why are there so many? Are y'all falling from the ceiling? From these vacuum packs? Fine. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. There are so many of you. Go down. Just die. Oh, you floppy mother. Okay. There's probably some good stuff down there. No. Well, that doesn't look like it. That was a lot of them. We're in a laboratory under the, under the, uh, where was it? Under the hospital in Raccoon City. There are several of these. This is, uh, nest number two. Oh, great. Hello. The headshots don't seem to matter quite as much in this game. They just take a lot of hits regardless. Oh, come on! Boo. I think I got her. Oh, okay, almost done with... Oh, look! Little guy. There we go. I don't know if there's anything else in here that I can use. There's a letter. Mmm, soupy. Weapon reauthorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available to for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. Wow, ooh. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weapon reauthorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They've been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. 
The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes them difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request a high p that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in the shipping, working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we'll be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, Shipping and Processing Manager Gabriel Reed. All right, let's find whatever weapon that is then, because. Those pale heads do suck. All right, we gotta make it past them again. Ugh! Fall. Ugh. I'm gonna have to take a bite, aren't I? Ah! Ow. Of me. So much ammo. Good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Hmm. Gunpowder. All right. Where's shipping and processing? Hello. Hello. All right. I'm going back to this gun. Stab, stab, stab. Good. Ooh, first aid spray. Might need that. <laughs> pea soup. I haven't had pea soup in a long time. Ooh. Oh man, these froggies. Oh man. <laughs> like what was chasing Leon and uh, Claire in the second game. All right. I'm so low on ammo. Mm. <laughs> uh. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, come on. I don't have any grenades either. <sighs> All right. Gonna have to use this guy. First, you go down. Okay. Did I miss them totally? I did. Fine. I'm out of here. Uh, a lot of them have been released to the outside. 
we fought several of these already and then re2 one of these guys uh chased leon is like his main antagonist at least one of them i guess there were two in that game can i get through oops not that way okay you ah I'm going to have to shimmy around you, aren't I? Oh, my gosh. Well, I got first aid spray if I need it. Duck. Ah, I tried to... Sometimes you just can't dodge. this away that too and good we have enough to create some more shotgun shells just what I want good and I probably need some more explodies Yes, good. Huh. I might want to consider using my mag at some point as well. I've been holding off on pulling that out. It's a really effective gun. But it seems like it'd be a bit of a waste. Alright. I think we're doing good. Good. I better save. <laughs> oh, t Umbrella Corp doesn't care about OSHA violations. They would probably just feed an OSHA person to one of their monsters. Second floor. Well, let's take a look. I do have that uh, vial of vaccine or whatever it is. Antigen or something. Let's try to put it in that piece of equipment. This guy. Culture sample. Alright. Yeah, I guess so. What else? There might be some more stuff in here as well. When the map is red on the area, that means there's a... Usually, it means that there's another item worth getting. Could be some ammo or some health. Or it's just referring to that machine. We don't know. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Okay. All right, got to go back. Incubation lab. How do we get? Oh, that's that catwalk. Okay. All right, going back up the catwalk then. The leeches. Yeah. I would probably make some horrible ones. Go ahead, bite me. I know what's coming. Ew. Sometimes I just... Sometimes I just resign myself to taking a hit. Sometimes treat my health like a... Ooh. Just like another little, you know, resource. 
like a pawn in a chess match, I guess. So we got plenty of health items in our uh, lockbox. We got a lot of them. Ammo is a lot more precious of a resource than health items, it seems like. Okay, all right. There we go. Ah, that one's still alive. Good, good. Whew. Awesome. More explosive. We can make a couple more uh, rounds for this, for this grenade launcher. Oh, you're a zombie. Stay down. Can I try to get back up? No? Okay. Ooh. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism to the tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? That pretty much confirms that Nikolai's controlling nemesis. However, from a medical perspective, I must empathetically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you're setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with, with abundant funding and bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, customers are willing to buy, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, Ph.D. <laughs> you sure America knows better? So that's interesting. Um, there, There is some kind of... There is a little bit of connection between this one and four. And that parasites were like the... The infection in, in the fourth game. Not directly links but uh yeah that's interesting all right sweet so with this one we can make hmm i can make some fiery rounds i kind of want to hold on to it though if i find two of those i can make acid rounds liquid filled test tube all right Yep, sir. Still got one more thing in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Gunpowder. <laughs> more explosive, not properly contained. Well, seems like alone they they they're less harmful, but together they can make uh, grenade rounds. All right. Of course. Uh huh. Come on. Got them both. Oh, come on. Don't need a third one. Ah, gotta, 
gotta kill you, don't I? Fine. Well, that's why they gave me, uh, the explosive then. Are you done? Huh. Yeah, that's why they gave me those, uh, explosives <laughs> to prepare me for that. All right. Well, in that case... Oh, those two those two make acid rounds. Neato. Okay. Cool. I thought those were the A's. Those were the B's. Can't squeeze on there, can I? Oh. More A's. Alright, y'all two. Time to die. Both of y'alls. Splash them with acid. Come on, stay dead. Oh, come on. You know what? No. You stay dead. No! There. <laughs> Not a problem anymore. Okay, storing that. Store. Store for now. The rest, I guess, I'll carry. And I need a health. There we go. Maybe this one? Okay. Boom. Incubation lab. Well, whatever we need to do. Uh, at least the monsters are pretty much cleared out. Just gotta figure out where to take these samples. No, not here. <laughs> Umbrella. <laughs> hey, we mentioned we're evil. Maybe up here? This is where we got that other sample. <sighs> hmm. I'd love to know where that weapon is they were talking about. Maybe it's further in. Ugh. They're like vacuum sealed monsters. Hmm. And I don't think I can squeeze under here, right? No. Okay, what did I miss? Can I combine these? Maybe I can combine these two vials. That's it. Now I can put it in the machine. Okay. I'm surprised they let me do that, honestly. Like, you didn't need the machine to combine the two little vials. Yeah, just dump them into each other by hand. Okay. Uh, not that way.
You wonder how Umbrella was able to make so many viruses without at least the United Nations knowing? Well, there's plenty of indication that a lot of people, a lot of higher-ups knew, but it's, it's all like a story of corruption and not letting the people know. Like a lot of very important people were well aware of this, but the just the public wasn't. Okay. Temperature control. What do you want me to do with this? Uh. The heck do you want? Maybe all mid? No. I have no idea what they want with this. Probably all green. Or mid. I don't freaking know what they want with this. I didn't see any memos. Mm. There we go. Hooray! Okay. Good. Oh, gross. Ready. Escape the facility. All right, guess we're going through here. Oh, come on. Yeah, he keeps getting bigger. He keeps mutating. Alright. Let's make some stuff. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, explosive rounds. Okay. There. <laughs> Whew. Oh, good. Sweet. We got some, we got a lot more rounds as well. Maybe we're about to fight a boss. Ugh. Okay. Boss time. Okay. In that case, I think I'm going to put the vaccine away. I can't. It's not going to let me. Huh. Well, I'm putting the knife away then. Probably not going to need that so much. Disposal Center. <clears throat> Disposal Center protocols. This facility is to be used for the <clears throat> disillusion and disposal of test subjects using Nest 2 experiments. The potent solvents used huh, acid will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Time to dump Nemesis in a vat. Please follow all safety protocols when using the Disposal Center. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. <sighs> Vat of acid. That's what? Oh, more. Thank you. Well, if I'm going to be having a lot of flame rounds, might as well put that one there, too. Any others? I think I'm going to put my handgun away. Yeah. Got a feeling it's not going to do much good against, uh, well, maybe. I, th I think I'll, I'll, I'll load it up and uh, just just take the gun and not the ammo. Because I might need to shoot, like, some barrels or pieces of the environment. Who knows? Yeah, I'm going to clear space by putting my ammo in there. There we go. Okay. Okay. It is a lot of ammo, but it's probably going to need all of it to defeat Nemesis. He's tough. Yeah, there are a lot of buttons here, so could be a handgun problem. Hi! Wow! No, no, the vaccine. Oh, come on! Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think the wisdom we are trying to impart on you is getting through. Now, I know you tend to the try to lie. I'm in this business to get paper. So let's make a deal. You go down there, stay for the nemesis, and I'll work for the day and sell the combat parts. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good!
Ow! Let me go. Okay. Ah! And... Ah. I don't know if he has to be really close to it or what. But this ain't working. Yeah, I only got nine shots. Alright. Ouch. What do you want, game? Fine. Probably gonna die on this first one, because I don't know the solution yet. Oh, great! What the heck? <laughs> I got an Ethernet. Warning, weird. Well, the flame rounds kind of keep him down a little bit. That's nice. Jill, is that you? Oh. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Yes. Ouch. There we go. And no bullets. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm going to reload this. Save. And get, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to bring more handgun ammo for this fight. That's how it's going to have to be. Okay. All right. Put my explosive rounds back in here. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't wouldn't hurt to have them. And all the shotgun shells. Two health. Okay. Huh. Alrighty, here we go. Yep. Gonna need that handgun. I'll just skip the cutscene this time. Skip! Alright, you. Ow! Ow. 
Ow. Ah! Wasted. Yo, is that you, Carlos? You're okay. Yipper. There we go. And get yourself out of here. I'm aware. Saw some ammo or something. There it is. Good. <laughs> ah, darn it, Zambies. Shotties, handgun, good. Number three. <laughs> I got this. Get him. Get off of me. Yes. Here comes the crane. We'll use it to climb up. Run. Run. Yes.
the achievement. Nemesis down? Question mark. Sweet. We still got a lot of explosive rounds. <laughs> the dip kills tunes. It's dip. Yes. What do we got? Weapon spec sheet. Project title: uh, Paramagnetic Infantry Use Next Generation Railgun. Ooh. <laughs> Development code name: Finger. All right. Suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Additional notes. Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. Railgun. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line. Just give them the finger and problem solved. Packs the firepower we need. It would even be better if there was a way to control the... It would... Yeah. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined? It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consider... Uh, c consolidate to a single power source? Okay. Let's go get the finger and give it to Nemesis. Okay. Got our health. How are we doing? Caution. So not great. But not terrible. Mm. Yeah, okay, we're good. Actually, I'm going to combine these two and put the rest in the storage. There we go. It's dip. Ooh. It's done. Give me the vaccine and be freed, son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You freed mine. I like that. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. <laughs> have you have you ever seen anything so incredible? To dart on this would be worth kneeling. But uh, you know how it is. It is about to explode, and you can for the price of life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Go! Go after Nikolai! We've got the vaccine! And what about you? We're running out of time! We've got this! I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's the finger? Oh boy. Yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give <laughs> Come on! <laughs> awesome. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna have to shoot your blobs. Alright, fine. That's a big gun. I'm gonna get me another healing item, too. In fact, I might get two. Oh, 
Uh, no, I'm kind of running low. But I can combine these to make a full heal. All right. And put that away. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A huge finger, you could say, of the middle variety. Indeed. Okay, so it doesn't take ow. Doesn't take a whole lot, but he is he is hitting me with acid the whole time. So okay, easy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Good. Should be stunned. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's he's toppled over for now. Come on, Jill. There's one. Two. <laughs> We're going to have no enough time to get them all. I'm going to get this one first. Ah, he's awake. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Where's your head? <laughs> right in the mouth. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Good riddance. Good. Nemesis down with uh, three exclamation points instead of a question mark this time. <laughs> Fantastic. Can I go through this? I can. All right, got to get out of here. Military's on the way to bomb the city. Unless we can get the vaccine to him in time. Anything back here? No.
No! We're not going to stop. I promised you this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh no. Hey, sir. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rust. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. Dang, Carlos. Take the shot. No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't take the shot in time, I guess. Blah blah blah. Game over. All right. Let's try that again. Guess it has to be in like the in two seconds. I have to do it really quick. All right. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. Thousands of deaths wasn't caused by a monster in the sky. I decided then and there to 
ashes of that same city with the umbrella's ashes too. Out and out. Don't you dare. Oh yeah. All right. Resident Evil 3. Yep, that's it. It's fun. Uh, uh, I, I think two's the better game, personally, of, of at least of these two. Uh, and I pair those together because they take place in, like, the same area. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this one was definitely more linear. Still, I appreciate that they remade 3. This is my first time playing it. Cool. I wonder if they're going to end up making remaking 4. I mean, they've re-released it several times on different consoles, but it's kind of the next one up, isn't it? It would definitely benefit from, uh, uh, like, dual stick controls. I, th I think it was, like, the first, was it the first one to do the over-the-shoulder camera? Like, the first shooter, I think. At least in Resident Evil it was. Uh, I don't, yeah, 4 was pretty, 4 was really innovative for its time. Uh, and it was also that kind of tipping point in the series uh, that kind of went a little bit, a little harder on the action hero side of things than uh, than the horror side. Like this one ended with the basically a doom boss with a giant railgun. Yeah, the f the fourth one takes place in a different. Uh, f it takes place in Spain. Uh, and it's a, it's not the T-Virus, it's a parasite, the Los Plagas. Uh, but it does make reference to this event, just in the intro. So it's a bit, it's a bit disconnected from the rest of the, uh, the rest of the series. A little bit. It still ties back with Umbrella Corp and stuff, but, Yeah. But yeah, uh, during the time uh, when 4 came out, uh, like dual stick controls weren't really, uh, uh, weren't really a thing. Uh, and they, they had you moving around and aiming with like one controller, one toggle. Uh, so I think it would benefit a lot from getting these kind of redesigned controls. Cool. Skip the credits. I want to see if there's... <sighs> Rank C. I died six times. Alrighty. Yeah, it was a fun, fun adventure. The gameplay was fun for sure. Uh, Storyline-wise, yeah, I, I think two is pretty much better in every way. Uh, and also, and also gameplay-wise, I, I think two generally is the better game. I, I appreciated, I appreciate a lot having to, like, your uh, the police station being your main. Uh, play area in that game. Uh, but yeah, this this wasn't bad at all. Uh, just the not as good as two, I think. Right on. Yeah, neat. Well, all right. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. I, I'm kind of surprised that once we got into Nest, whoops. 
The shop has been unlocked. You can now purchase purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used to unlock items can be earned by completing in-game challenges. Bonus. Shop. Ooh, yay! Costumes and stuff. Oh, neato. Hot, hot dogger. As its name implies, this umbrella-developed anti-bioweapon knife is used by those who like to show off. This blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. So some fun weapons, that's awesome. Raiden. An energy weapon developed by Umbrella, based on airborne electrical phenomena. It possesses great stopping power, but only when targeting enemy weak points. So yeah, has some fun replayability with these extra weapons. Yeah, thousand degree knife. It's pretty cool. Samurai Edge. Okay. Yeah, yay. Infinite CQBR assault rifle. Infinite rocket launcher. Well, that's interesting because uh, in RE4, after you beat it, the infinite rocket launcher is cheaper. It like it comes before the infinite uh, machine gun. They switched it up. Stars Field Combat Manual. While held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. Carry more to increase the effect. Crafting Companion. While held, increase the amount of ammo gained when crafting. Assault Coin. Greatly increases your attack power when held. Carry more to increase the effect. <laughs> well, that's fun. Oh, gradually regenerate health. That would be very useful. Jill Star's gear. As she wore during the mansion incident. So her uh, Resident Evil 1 costume. That's fun. Awesome. Mm. This game also like launched alongside their online game. Uh, I forget what, it, what it's called. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's like a versus or something online Resident Evil. So it was packaged along with that. I haven't played that. I don't really intend to. Uh, yeah, all right. So yeah, I was kind of surprised how uh, short the, the lab section was. It was only like an hour and ten minutes. Uh, I think I think Nest in the second game was like two or three hours. Definitely a shorter game too. It it took me a lot longer to beat two. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it, yeah. I think it was under eight hours. I, uh, I would love to see. I personally would love to see the first game, uh, remade with this kind of control scheme and being able to control the cameras, but I don't know if they ever. I don't know if they would. I I guess they could if they wanted to, but like. I know that the first game has this reputation of, like, people love the, uh, the, like, static, the, uh, camera angles that they make you go through in the first game. Uh, like, that's a, that's a style of horror game that people really seem to like. And, uh, yeah, that, and it, it seems like, it's, it's, it seems like fans of the first game tend to prefer that style and... I don't know if there's much, like, want from the fan base to uh, revisit the first game with different uh, camera controls or anything. It was a neat one. I I liked the first game, but I personally am not a huge fan of that, that style of uh, obscuring your view with an uncontrollable camera. Uh, I, get the, I get the appeal that it's, uh, you know, 
you can't see around corners and and all that but yeah I, I definitely prefer being able to control my own camera so if they do eventually remake one I, yeah I'd be interested but I I, I kind of feel like they are not that's not really a priority for them right now I'd love to play seven at some point as well uh, that's the one that kind of brought the series back to its roots back to back to kind of how one was uh, because like five and six kind of just became gears of war uh, four four was the point where the series uh, uh, yeah seven four four was the point where the series got like way more like uh, action hero-y and it's a blast to play I love four it's probably my favorite in the series uh, with two being really close. Uh, but yeah, f like admittedly, four is less horrifying and, and more action-y. And then five was just like all out action and six was pretty much the same thing. But then seven, they went for a like first person point of view with a silent protagonist and like in a really like just really scary setting it was like a like a dirty redneck house <laughs> like that i've i played a couple hours of it but i haven't beaten it but yeah it's kind of like how kind of like um what what's the movie like texas chainsaw massacre family like that that kind of creepiness and you get to play the game you know from the point of view of the player character and I don't think the character speaks at all either so you're you're getting put in the front seat of the uh, of the experience and you know going through this creepy dirty gross house with these insane people so yeah I'd uh, it's scary too I've I've uh, I played a couple hours of it and phew, just yeah I'd love to I need to pick that up at some point. I think the next thing I'm going to play... Well, we still have like two days until the uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars pack comes out, right? I already have it. Like, I, it's downloaded on my Switch, but it's one of those things where they're like, you can't play it until the date, <laughs> until, uh, until we let you. Like, there's a date lock behind it. Let me see. Uh, when can I play? 3D All Stars, but yeah, I'd I'd, I'd love to play that soon when I'm allowed to by Nintendo. <laughs> yep, two days. But it's Wednesday, so I gotta have something tomorrow. Tomorrow might just be something like Fall Guys, just something fun, something light and fun. Hmm. All right, game. I'm done. I'm done with you. Oh, now I'm in the void. Oh, what did you miss? The ending of the game. <laughs> uh, it's uh, yeah. I I totally do. I I think that next week I'm gonna start playing the 3D All Stars pack for Mario. That'll be a lot of fun get to revisit Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine and the first Galaxy game. I honestly don't know why they didn't put uh, the second Galaxy game on there. Um, well, I don't know. Let, let me see. It could be that that one came out for the Wii U? Is that what it was? Yeah, well, it came out for both. So yeah, they didn't include Galaxy 2 in the pack for some reason, even though that seems to be a lot of people's preferred Galaxy game. <clears throat> Probably. <laughs> yeah, but I, I have two somewhere. I don't know if it's on the Wii or the Wii U here, but uh, if it's on the Wii U, I can 
always just load that up after I play the other three. It's been a it's been a good long while since I played any of those. So, yeah, it's about time. <laughs> I want Super Paper Mario on Switch. I would love a Paper Mario collection on Switch, right? Yeah, <laughs> give us the one, two, three of Paper Mario as a collection. I would love that. Uh, the first 1,000 year door and super. That would be wonderful. Right? Yeah. The, uh, whatever, whoever the director was of those threes, call, call I mean, call it that, his name collection or whatever. Because that guy had the magic for the series. Yeah, see, uh, like Sly Guy likes Galaxy 2 a lot. Like, that seems to be the, of the two Galaxy games, that seems to be the uh, preferred one for a lot of folks. I appreciate the the hub world in the first Galaxy. I, I like, I liked uh, Rosalina's star base. I thought that was really nice. But, uh, yeah, 2, 2 was a lot of fun as well. Galaxy 2 doesn't exist. <laughs> it exists for a lot of people. Cool. Well, it looks like I might have, like, a good... Like, yeah, there, the 2 does a lot of really fun level designs. I think they're, they tend to be smaller, uh, but they're not super small either. That sounds like a bootleg to me. But uh, they're well designed. Like if they're, it's a fun, it's a fun game. So yeah, I wonder how. I wonder how many weeks this is gonna be. Mario Adventure. I'm not planning on getting all the stars. I'm just planning on beating the games. I'd also love to eventually see a re-release, of remaster whatever, of the. Uh, 3DS version of Mario 64. That one was a lot of fun. And it you got to play as uh, Yoshi, Wario, and Luigi too, if you wanted to. And you got like a lot of extra... You got like 30 extra stars in that one too. It was a, it was a really fun one. So I'd love to, I'd love to see a re-release of that. Outside of the... I, I think they had it on the Wii U, on the Virtual Console, but that system is... Like... Wasn't very popular. Okay, so it was before the 3DS. It was just the DS. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is, it is interesting seeing, like, to your point, Queen, like, it sounds like a bootleg Galaxy 2. Yeah, because we just haven't really seen a, a 2 following a Mario title in a long time. It does, it just sounds like more stuff. But it's it's its own game. They could have called it Super Mario Universe if they wanted to. Though I don't know if it was grandiose enough to warrant that title, so... But I think you did go to, uh, well, you went to different, like, solar systems, I guess. So I guess it would be in, uh, in a galaxy, not a, not a universe kind of setting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, some people, like, that's the only experience they've had with 64, is the, uh, the DS version. And that's a really fun one. Like, the original's still amazing. Uh, which is, I believe, the one that we're going to get in the uh, All-Stars, 3D All-Stars pack. Yeah, I'd love to see the other version re-released. Well, uh, it's a shorter, shorter game today, wasn't it? I thought we had would have more time in the lab. 
but we didn't. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry you wasted your money on that bootleg. Uh, Queen, you want to play some, like, Jackbox or something with folks? Maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do something like that for the last, like, hour. Oh, cool. All right, folks. Well, it sounds like we're going to do some Jackbox. Uh, awesome. I, I think I'll just... Hmm... Yeah, I think I'll stop this stream and uh, then come back. Uh, just I guess just stick around if you're if you want to play some Jackbox with us. Uh, Till then, uh, we'll see y'all in a bit. All right, bye bye.